नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी कैल्शियम इनफ्लक्स असे कैल्शियम इनफ्लक्स असे जे सेल बेस्ड सेकंड मैसेंजर असे व्हेयर वी मेजर द कैल्शियम फ्लक्स एसोसिएटेड विथ जी प्रोटीन कपल रिसेप्टर्स और कैल्शियम चैनल्स यूजुअली द GQ टाइप जी प्रोटीन कपल रिसेप्टर्स दे व्हिच व्हिच आर लिंक टू फास्फोलाइपेस सी एंड फास्फोलाइपेस सी कन्वर्ट्स फास्फोटिडिल इनोसाइटल डाइफास्फेट टू इनोसाइटल ट्राइफास्फेट दिस IP3 व्हिच एक्ट्स ऑन द कैल्शियम स्टोर्स इन द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम टू रिलीज कैल्शियम so for details uh, you can go to our g protein coupled receptor video on g protein coupled receptor similarly calcium channels uh, on opening uh, help in influx of calcium into the cell so this type of activity we can study uh, through uh, through through this type of assay calcium influx assay and some of the examples of gq type of receptor are at1 receptor angiotensin type 1 receptor eta receptor endothelin a receptor vasopressin 1 receptor so agonist here will be at1 angiotensin uh, 2 here the agonist is angiotensin 2 and uh, uh, for eta endothelin a and uh, for vasopressin 1 receptor the uh, agonist is vasopressin so when these agonists uh, bind to the their specific g protein coupled receptor the phospholipase c is activated and uh, there is formation of inositol triphosphate which acts on the calcium stores to release calcium so such type of activity uh, whether calcium influx is there or not that we can uh, assay through this type of assay by utilizing a calcium sensitive dye and uh, that calcium sensitive dye is easily enters into the cell in the cytoplasm it binds to the calcium if calcium is present then it will bind to the calcium and will form a complex and uh, it, this uh, complex uh, uh, we can uh, measure in three ways uh, by uh, luminescence or fluorescence or uh, colorimetry uh, so the luminescence intensity or fluorescence intensity or observance will change and from that we can measure uh, the change in concentration of calcium and this is how uh, calcium uh, influx assay operates so the calcium sensitive dye can be of three types luminescent dye for example aquarin obelin so similarly fluorescent dye like uh, calcine 8 fluo 3 fluo 8 road 4 fluo 3 am fluo 4 am cal 520 am glow tetracycline and colorimetric dye like uh, arsen azo uh, tetramethyl muroxide anti pyrilazo chlorphosphonazo so <coughs> let us take one example from, from each aquarin it is uh, a protein isolated from the uh, jellyfish aquora victoria and uh, um, as we discuss when the when we uh, t take the agonist and that agonist uh, will bind to the specific receptor and will increase the intracellular calcium and aquarin uh, will enter into the cell and will form a complex and this complex emits blue light so that is a luminescence uh, so there will be change in the uh, intensity of the light and uh, the, that luminescence intensity is directly proportional to calcium concentration so <coughs> from this um, we can measure the calcium concentration uh, present and whether there is any calcium influx or not we can detect from this 
now let us take uh, uh, the example of fluo 8 uh, which is uh, uh, using fluorometric assay so here um, similarly the when the agonist will bind to the specific gq receptor uh, the g protein coupled receptor the, there will be increase in intracellular calcium and that can be detected by using a calcium sensitive uh, uh, fluorescent based uh, dye for example fluoride which will easily enter into the cell in the cytoplasm it will be de degraded by storage and uh, this storage will uh, uh, will cleave the lipophilic blocking groups so that uh, this dye will now become the, a negatively charged fluorescent dye which will bind to the calcium and uh, the fluorescence of the dye will increase so there will be a change in fluorescence intensity and this uh, fluorescence we can uh, uh, easily read uh, by a fluorescence microplate reader at uh, E X by E M high 40 by 5 90 nanometer so <coughs> at this range we can measure the fluorescence and that fluorescence intensity uh, or change in fluorescence intensity is directly proportional to the intracellular calcium similarly other uh, other dyes can we can also use uh, road 4 is more photostable than fluo 8 and cal 520am is uh, an ideal indicator uh, because of its long wavelength high sensitivity and uh, more than 100 times fluorescence enhancement uh, the, that is cal 520am so the principle is same so let us take uh, one example of our uh, colorimetric uh, method arsen 3 and uh, similarly when the agonist binds to the specific g protein coupled receptor uh, will increase the intracellular calcium now arsenazo uh, will enter into the cytoplasm will bind to calcium form a complex which shows absorbance peak at 600 to 660 nanometer and this absorbance is directly proportional to the calcium so in this way we can measure uh, the calcium uh, present intracellularly and this is the principle behind the calcium influx assay thank you